Hi guys, thanks for joining me. I just want to make this video now is like a retake of a video that I've already made and that's about trumpet number one. My video that I made previously had clips from other videos of off news channel whatever um, so they've been <laughs> copyright infringed on YouTube and I want to have you know the videos available for people when they go onto the illustration book and they want a vi video sermon that they're able to see it now I, I've always been able to see it because of my videos but when I come to adding them to a um, playlist on my YouTube which is all the videos in pretty much some sort of order in which they come chronological that they, they play and you know a lot of them weren't a couple of them weren't coming up so I uh, just thought I'd make this video and plus you know I made them um, trumpet number one videos eight years ago I mean technology was different sound and audio and video and everything else and you know they were a bit rough uh, video videos and said you know so oh, I don't mind making them again they're not too long they won't take me too long to edit uh, so trumpet number one after the throne of uh, God Nibiru was passed after he's hit us at the sixth seal Flipped us upside down. And the sun is darkened at noontime. And the moon is blood red. And the governments run to their bunkers and hide. And 144,000 are um, chosen and are safe. In, in the mountains, I would have thought, be a, in a lot of places. Uh, the great multitude are caught up to the throne. They have been saved from the great tribulation. Yet all the young, all the old, and all the people that repented of their sins and asked for God for forgiveness and have been saved before the passing of the throne. But then comes the, tr the trumpet judgments. Um, when the throne of God locks off, there's, th there's voices and thunders and lightnings and a massive earthquake as he locks off of earth. And then the trumpet judgments begin. Trumpet judgment number one, the earth actually passes through the tail of the throne of God, Neberu. And in that out, the tail's got two two layers to it. You've got an inner and you've got an outer. The outer tail, well, the inner tail is big rocks, big space rocks. Um, I'd say like half the size of a man weight-wise, but you know maybe something along the sizes of these. Maybe asteroids um, loaded in the inner tail, big space rocks about the weight of a talent. So he's talking about 66 pounds above is the guesstimate weight of what we've been told a talent is in our weight um, but that uh, that happens at the second passing of the throne which is the seventh trumpet which happens after the two witnesses but this first passing we go through the outer tail which is full of meteorites, space rocks, and they're all one to eight pounds. Now you might say, well, how do you know how much they weigh? Is because it's happened before. We know the weight of the space rocks in the inner tail because the Bible tells us. That's the second passing, that's the inner tail. 
the first passing, the going through the outer tail, it's happened before. It happened during the Black Death. I read up about the Black Death, which is one of the other trumpet judgments, uh, number three. The return of the Black Death comet, comet that comes past and poisons the water supply, brings the Black Death upon us. And what also happened during that time, though, is there was it, the recorded blood rain coming out the sky, which is exactly what the trumpet judgment says. Now, I think what the video got copyrighted for is I showed a video of where it rained blood out of the sky in Sri Lanka. And everyone was saying, like the weather people do, they say, oh, that's the dust from the Sahara Desert and it's mixed with the water and that's why it falls and it's red. And this scientist wasn't having any of it. Well, he wasn't, that, he was open-minded, let's say. He wasn't trying to disprove it or nothing. He wasn't a conspiracy theorist. He was just a scientist. And he tested it to see if it was dust. And he found it was not dust at all. It wasn't dust mixed with water or anything like that. Um, the stupidly of that is actually, you know. <laughs> Um, but it was, he looked at it and he said they were like blood cells, but they had a thick cell wall, which into my, into my understanding of blood cells in, in an, an acidic climate, like our blood, our bodies is always acidic because of the shit we eat and that and everything else. We, our cells, our, our blood cell wall break down and they start to stick together, but you know, he says that the outer cells, blood cells, were thick, and I thought, wow, that's a healthy blood cell. But then he also said it didn't have any DNA in it. So it was like a really healthy, juicy blood cell, but we don't know who it belonged to. So it was like unknown person's blood raining out the sky. And that's exactly what it's like. It'll be like, in fact, the cry is, at, at seal number uh, five, is that how long, oh Lord, holy and true? This is the... The, the dead people crying this out do you not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth and then he says wait a little while until the number is complete and then whack six seal he hits us and again you just got to look at it as one big event and then you've got trumpet number one where he's raining down fiery hail from the sky and mixed with the fiery hail is blood innocent blood avenging our blood on them that dwell on the earth and like I say you're going to get one to eight pound meteorites raining down fire and it says uh, a third part of trees was burned up and all green grass was burned up right so that's I mean this is what they have planned this is another one of them reasons they have their bunkers it's not just for nuclear fallout warfare uh, the bunkers are not really to, to do anything to do with tectonic plates and pole shift I think the main object behind the people who want the bunkers is to protect them from this literally raining down hail space rocks out the sky burning the land up and they'll just be enclosed in their rocks of course rocks are not going to burn are they but you know it was in that film actually the knowing um, where the little kid looks out the window and he sees this happen where it just rained down fire and everything's just burned up so that's just trumpet judgment uh, number one where we pass through the tail one to eight pounds meteorites falling like fiery hail out the sky like it did in the black death um, I don't know if I mentioned that but another description of the black death um, was fiery hail, hail uh, meteorites raining out the sky and they noted that, that they were about one to eight pounds which is about the size of a potato to the size of a big watermelon so that's what's gonna be and mixed with that would be blood so I've been past the prophet Justin Roberts from end of the age Bible prophecy. God bless you all in Jesus name. Amen.